already by the way. I know, the red light's on. So, we didn't actually cook breakfast just to make lunch, but we made pancakes and they were delicious, and he has to go to work at 2, so we're cooking up meat to make spaghetti for him to take to work, because he doesn't like to eat the food at work. And, look at the snow! Oh, I'm so upset about it. I mean, it's not, well, it's not pretty right now, but... Last night when I was driving home from work, I could barely see on the highway, and it was awful. And I'm like, no, it's not even Thanksgiving yet. So hopefully it gets better. Hold on. Yes? Are you going to this in your sauce as well? Yeah, I'm having a little sauce. We're not eating right now, though, right? No, I just had breakfast. I'm just getting it out of the way. Okay. Crazy. But is this cooked enough for you? As long as it's not red. Nope, there's no red. Mm. <laughs> Spaghetti. All right, sounds good for you? Yes. Thank, right, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're cute. I love him. So today, while he goes to work, I'm probably just going to vacuum and clean. And I am going to go to the dollar store and look for some sweet Christmas decorations. Yes. Um, yeah, I just run really hot water. And maybe the garbage just wasn't. Well, you got to put this stuff in there first. <coughs> Can't just run the garbage this way. So, we don't really know what to do with the grease that we use when we cook stuff like hamburgers or bacon. We're going to get like a little grease pot, I think, but for now, we've just been putting it down the drain, running really, really hot water, and today, like I just said maybe use the garbage disposal so if anybody has any hints on what to do with hot grease from bacon or hamburger um let us know because we're not really sure what to do with it i don't want to get a grease bucket because they stink eventually um but if we have to i guess we will but if anyone has any hints or things that they do with it besides going outside in the freezing cold let me know all right so yeah we're just making lunch relaxing today until he has to go to work and then when he has to go to work, I'm going to run Hey to guys, school. so I'm cooking up some spaghetti for Adam to take to work. I don't want him to go to work. He has to leave in like 20 minutes. Uh, uh, I hate being here by myself. Actually, it's not that bad. I usually just watch YouTube videos. But you should do. Check out our channel, man. Or this is the start of something new. And we really want you to check it out. But anyways, yeah, he's got to go to work soon. So I'm making him spaghetti. And... I have no idea where he put the meat that he just cooked up. I've been looking in the fridge and I can't find it. Um, so I don't know what the heck he did with it. Hmm. I hope he didn't leave it now. I don't know. Hey guys, so I forgot to bring my camera with me to the store. Mm, but that's okay, I'll show you my little haul. Um, I went to the store to go get Christmas decorations after Adam went for work. Not a lot because my parents don't really decorate for Christmas if I'm not there. So my mom and dad are giving me their Christmas tree, which I will be getting tomorrow, and all the decorations that we've had like throughout the year. So I'm waiting to see what's in there before I get anything else. But I wanted to get a few things to just start decorating. And I know it's a little early. Please don't hate me. But I either could decorate for Thanksgiving or Christmas this year because we're on a budget. And I chose Christmas because I just love that season. So I'm going to give you a little glimpse of what we got. Well, I got. I got this little wreath thing from Big Lot to hang on our front door, I think. And then I got this little penguin because once you start to get to know me better, you'll know that I love penguins. And I got that from the dollar store for like three bucks. Five bucks. Okay, five bucks. And I got stickers for presents. Those we don't really need right now. I also got this from the dollar store, which I'm pretty sure is a countdown to Christmas because it goes 1 to 25, so you'd start it here and then just swing it around, which is pretty cool. So I'll hang that somewhere in the house. I got this little basket with the reindeer thing on it. 
Um, I don't really know what I'm going to put in it yet. Probably put some of this stuff in it over here, like our markers and pens and stuff. And then, these are my favorite, I can't wait for this decoration. I got these little um, ornament things for a dollar. I got two red and then gold and silver. And I'm going to put them in this vase along with these flowers that I got, these fake flowers. And I'm really excited for that. And then the last thing that I got is this little table decoration, which I'll probably put on the table, I think. Or I'll put it on one of those two ledges. Um, because I might put this on the table. I'm not sure yet. So yeah, so that's all I got for Christmas. I'm really excited to decorate and I cannot wait to show you what it ends up looking like. Since Adam's not here, I gotta keep myself busy somehow, right? And then after this, I need to edit a video I'm making for my mom. So, I was where I've been working on the Christmas decorations and tomorrow I will have so much more done and I cannot wait to show you everything. But so far, I've gotten a few things done. So I showed you all the parts that I bought at the Dollar General, and this is what I did with it. I think it down, turned out pretty good. I put a little bit of the silver ribbon that I bought down here, filled it up with the bobs, and cut the flowers, and it just like a nice little flower arrangement thing. So I like how it turned out. Hopefully Adam likes it, and hopefully everyone else likes it. And then I did what I said I was going to do with the basket. <laughs> I kind of just put it here and put stuff in it that's that was already there, so it's not really anything special, but it's a little Christmassy basket. Um, and for all my Wisconsin family, you guys know that Grandma Rita gives us each um, a little Christmas house from Hallmark every year. She's done it every year since I was born. And right now I only have three of them. The rest of them are with the Christmas decorations at my mom's house. But the three that I do have, I set on the microwave stand. I love the football because that's really important to me and I like to have it there. Um, that's the day for our wedding. But I have the 91 house, the 93, and the 94. So when I get the 92 one, I'm going to put it up there as well. And then I'll have to figure out a spot for the rest of the houses. I'm not really sure where yet. Also, I put this thing on top of the stove. I think it looks kind of neat there and it fits perfectly. The little Santa guy will go right there. Um, me and command hooks don't always get along. So, um, you're supposed to uh, give it a half an hour usually before you put things up. But that never works with me. They always fall anyways. So I usually give it a full day before I hang things. So I'm leaving that hook for a day and I'll hang it up in the morning tomorrow. So not like a full day, but like overnight. Um, I also hung up this, not that it's Christmas decoration, but Adam got this for free from his boss. And I love whiteboards. You can write little notes there. You can decorate it for holidays. And I love to leave Adam cute notes. And so I put it like on the wall right outside our room. And it's good for like messages and stuff like that. But um, I also hung up hooks on our very front door downstairs and the door that's right here that kind of like separates the house. And I'm going to put that penguin on this door right here. And then downstairs on the front door I'm going to put that Santa um, wreath thing. And then tomorrow we'll have the Christmas tree set up, we'll have lights and stuff. And I'm really excited for it. I'm getting... Now that we have our own house, we can do whatever we want and decorate, and I'm really getting getting into the holiday spirit, I, and pr I promise you, I do not overlook Thanksgiving. I love Thanksgiving. It's my favorite holiday besides Christmas. You get to spend time with family. You, you should really express your thanks every single day, but like it's a day to be thankful and be with your family. And my, two of my cousins from out of town are coming, and their little girl, and I'm really excited to see them and show them the apartment. Um... So I'm just excited to do that, but I promise you I'm not overlooking Thanksgiving. I just, we're on a budget, and so we either chose to decorate for Thanksgiving or Christmas, and since Christmas is right around the corner after Thanksgiving, we can keep these decorations up for all the way through the middle of January. Some people keep them up longer, and it's not weird. So we decided to get Christmas decorations, and eventually, like I said, we'll decorate for all the holidays, but you got to get a little bit at a time. Unless you're rich, which we aren't. We just decided we wanted to decorate for Christmas, so I can't wait to show you the finished product tomorrow. Like, And I'm sure throughout the co next couple weeks we'll get like another thing here and there, and I'll show you as it goes along. But yeah, so this is like our first full day of vlogging. It's kind of cool and exciting, and I'm still like figuring out what's interesting and what should I vlog and what's like going to be stupid to vlog. But you never know. Some people are just interested in... 
our lives and I am so excited to share that with you right now I'm actually currently watching Samica vlogs um, I pause it to do a little bit of decorating sorry there's a glare it's a beautiful view of Samica vlogs they are one of my favorite vlogging families along with Daily Bumps Shea Tards and Ellie and Jared um, and hopefully we can join the ranks in within a year my goal is to have at least 5,000 subscribers by the end of a year from today. Not by the end of the year, that would be one month and that'd be crazy. <laughs> but yeah, so I want to dive into this whole YouTube thing. I love watching vlogs on TV and hopefully one day someone's saying that about us. Like, oh, I love watching Alex and Adam. They're funny, they're interesting, you know. Um, so obviously as you can see, I'm by myself right now. I'm going to get Adam to vlog by himself when he's not working. I'm going to try really hard, and I hope that he does it. But a lot of times you'll see just me um, when he's not home, because we work separate shifts most of the time, which kind of sucks, but you'll see us together often enough. So I hope you enjoyed the first vlog, and I hope you enjoyed our Christmas decorations. I can't wait to share the holidays with you. This is a great time to start vlogging, because we'll be doing family things. You'll get to meet some of our family. It's really cool, and I can't wait to share this journey with you. Have a good night.